If you think you're completely safe banking online, you might want to think again. Yeah, more new malware is putting customers who bank online at risk, and you may not even know if your information has been compromised. Our Valina Jones is in the News Center with more on these new risks. Valina? Well, that's right, Eric and Michelle. This new computer virus is described as sneaking up on victims like a serpent. By the time the customers realize they've been hacked, the money is already gone. This malware installs very silently in the background. People won't know. They won't see flashing lights on their screen. No alerts or sirens will ring, which makes the risk of getting hacked while you're banking online even more of a shock when it happens. In this case, it is designed to be stealth-like, to operate without their knowledge in the background. Nicholas Davis, chief information security officer at UW System, says that's because the virus known as GOSNIM impacts your computer in two parts. First, it infects computers without raising any red flags. Then the virus waits until the users visit their online banking account. As soon as you start visiting a banking site, it will grab your username and your password from something called a keylogger as you type it in on the keyboard. And at that point, it now knows the website that you visited, the bank, plus it knows your login credentials. Different from other malwares, GOSNIM is harder for researchers to prevent the virus. People who are writing the software code are getting better and better, and it's always a game of leapfrog with the anti-malware professionals. According to IBM Security, millions of dollars have already been lost at banks in the U.S., Canada, and Europe from unsuspecting victims. From reports I've seen, really have been has been developed by very sophisticated programmers, so not just the, the kid down the street in the basement. And the, again, financial institutions just keep spending more and more money to make sure we stay at, on top of and ahead of these kinds of threats. The Wisconsin Bankers Association works to make sure customers are compensated for money loss, but say to avoid reaching that point, it takes a joint effort. We'll really look at your accounts every day and, and help spot that suspicious activity or fraudulent activity along with the banks. Again, it's really a shared partnership between the banks and the consumers and that will help protect everybody from loss. To protect yourself, Davis suggests changing your password and avoid using the same password for accounts. He also suggests avoid using public computers and Wi-Fi. We need online banking. We need to be able to execute transactions and know what's our accounts. So I urge people not just to run away from online banking, but to be thoughtful. The moment you realize something suspicious, you should contact your bank immediately if you can afford it, he says. Another solution is to have two separate computers, it's one that you can use for personal information and a secondary computer that you can use to surf the web. All right, Valina Jones in our news center tonight. Valina, thank you.